he's actually pretty good. Not, he hasn't lost too many bags. He's pretty relaxed how he does things, and uh, yeah, he does a pretty good job, really. Well, you know, when I come to training, I don't have my socks or don't have any shorts. Just go into Foxy. And he'll uh, he'll help you, and he'll he'll get you he'll get you dressed. I think that, like, if you were to picture like a dream job, like most of the rugby guys when they finish, they want that job. Um, he's down there making sure all the jerseys are ready, clean, socks, shorts, he always gets all the right sizes. Now into the team is Foxy. John Miles is into his ninth season as the logistics manager. The former police officer has perfected the job, right down to every detail. Well, I'm really looking forward to watching this documentary you know, because um, because no one really knows what he does, but um, hopefully this way we'll all get to find out. I, I just usually come in here before most of the players get here and just unlock the place and get the lights on and the heaters on so the boys don't get too cold. Um, and then just prepare what they need for training, as in the, the water bottles and um, I'll be pumping the balls up soon because uh, a couple of their kickers are a bit precious and they want them exactly the, the right pressure and that sort of stuff, which they get. Um, and just put the equipment they need, I put it out by the field to, so they can, the coaches and the players have got it there for them. And then during the training, um, just whatever they need really, if they need more balls out there or more hip pads or more water filled, that, that's my duties then. The previous bag man left to join the All Blacks, leaving John with big shoes to fill. What you really want is a good personality, you know, a good bugger, someone that the players can trust and confide in. Uh, that's always got the got your back and is going to, um, you know, if they need to, talk to the coaches or just tow in the water and see how the team's tracking. But, you know, he's a good man. How much you got for this week? Yeah, some of the things you see around the walls here, you know, they're pretty special to me. They're, they're photographs and things that I've taken uh, when we've been on tour or around here or something that, that no one else can get. And, and no one else will ever get because um, that's the special moments and all got memories. Photos, signatures and memorabilia. Years of history reminding John of his success with the Crusaders. And over the years with the team, he's gathered an impressive collection of jerseys. I think there's about 145 or something jerseys up there and um, they've all got a wee story behind them. The All Black jerseys there that are, that are signed by the All Blacks and um, there's a couple signed by, uh, an All Black jersey signed by uh, Dan Carter there somewhere, another one signed by Chris Jack, that was the first all black jersey I had, and the one he wore in a test match and gave it to me straight away, so uh, that was pretty special. And after the training session, John clears his schedule for those extra important workouts. A really important part of my day, uh, every day, I come to the gym. Um, as you see, there's not many people in here at the moment, but the gym's mine, and uh, follow me, I'll show you what I'm going to do. This is what I come to the gym for, to get the milk, to make the uh, protein shakes for the players. That's about all I go in here for. Sometimes when they've been really good and played really well, they get a bit of ice cream in their shake, but not this week, not to have performed on Saturday. Every game's an important game to me, and every game, I think I remember every game. But uh, the, the ones that really stick in my mind um, are probably the ones we've lost. Uh, the semi-finals that we lost in Africa three years in a row, like, they really hurt. Uh, but in saying that, obviously, all the ones we've won and, uh, you know, the, the two in a row when they went from Super 12 to Super 14, they, they were both very special to me. Uh, one of them obviously being the fog game against the Hurricanes and uh, they, they, were, they were really good. Those little jobs you don't even think twice about, they all add up to the Crusaders' performance on the field. The ball pressure is a very important uh, job that John Miles is responsible for, so he's the guy I hold responsible if the ball is too flat or too pumped up. I like it about 9.8, it varies kicker to kicker, but that's my preference. Uh, this ball here is pretty good actually, um, if it's too pumped up, the ball's just uh, far too hard and doesn't respond well on the foot, so too flat, the ball just doesn't uh, fly anywhere. But there will always be stories within the team. Now uh, Foxy's in a unique position that uh, you got to be careful what you say about Foxy because he he, get, he knows exactly what's going on in the team all the time. So any wee bit of uh, story you have on him, he'd probably got twice as much on everyone else. His, his job, one of his jobs is uh, the night before a game also, he brings around chocolate to all the guys' rooms. Yeah, um, it's a bit of a tradition that you uh, get a wee treat, I give them a couple of squares of chocolate each. It's sort of like an Easter bunny, isn't he, really, yeah. when you think about it? <laughs> yeah, a big, it's a wee, wee, oversized wee sort of Santa-looking Easter bunny. 
they all start, I think they must crave for it by about 8.30. Except sometimes uh, he doesn't leave the chocolate in a very good place. Got to rush back and find some chocolate and walk around their rooms and I only go to the rooms that the, that the doors are open because um, I don't want to disturb their sleep or whatever else they may be doing. And, and, uh, the other week he melted all the chocolate and it was all melted into a big ball and tried to hand out the chocolate and it didn't go down because well. he's so busy though, he didn't have time to put it in the yeah. fridge. Um, and every now and again I get there, my door was open last night and I say, oh, it wasn't at 8.30. And they say, oh, maybe you're right, you know, maybe you're right. And right on game day, John Miles steps it up. By Friday afternoon, the van is loaded with the team's gear and all set for the game against the Blues. It's a job Foxy has been doing for years and one that the team appreciate. Um, I've got to uh, prepare, the, prepare the kit for tomorrow. Um, most of it's done. It's, it was laundered in Sydney, last, in Melbourne last week and um, we, I've just checked it and make sure that all the um, advertising on it, like the BNZ logo and the CAT logos and the numbers are all you know, good enough for the game. Uh, make sure that the, the right size has got the right, or the right numbers got the right size on it. I'll do that this afternoon, and then I'll just pack up my uh, my van and get it ready for tomorrow, and be down here tomorrow, nice and early. And he's got it down to a fine art now, so uh, I don't know how long. He says he gets here hours before the game, but I think it's sort of he rolls in about 20 minutes before we do. <laughs> nah, he's he's got to make sure everything's there for the boys. It's a real privilege and honour to, to be with these guys. Um, uh, I pinch myself regularly and the whole Crusader thing is really, really special. Um, it's just hard to put a finger on what it is, but it's just like a, it's like a family, I suppose. I suppose. And it's, uh, it, it means a lot to every single person. Um, and I've been here as long as anyone around here. Um, and every day it's special coming to work. I, I enjoy coming to work and you know, it's, it's really something special. They're all good boys in, in the team, and, and as I said, they, um, yeah, I feel close to all of them. Um, and I don't know about being their parent, but I, I certainly like to think that if they need some advice on anything that, that I can help them with, we, we do that. And uh, but I think really it's best to be their mate, and that's, that's what I, I feel that I am. I'm their mate. And after thrashing the Blues, the victory chant erupts behind closed doors. All of John's hard work pays off. <laughs>